This is the reason I hate trucking. It's Diddy K and I'm back like I never left because I'm cooking up content like a chef, shooting videos like I'm Steph uh, Curry. So hurry up, subscribe, because it's time for us to slide. If you're a part of the crew, you already know what to do. Throw them C's up. Throw them C's up in the comment section below. It's time for us to go out here uh, and skulking the pump like Crisco. We do have load number one. We have to go out here and get the job done. We are going to drive 34 deadhead miles, 23 miles loaded, so 57 miles all together for 150. We're about to pull up and get a grip, G. Let's go. And we are here at the pickup location. We're going to keep on skating and being gravy. Hopefully, my guy Russ here so we can get in and get out like a bank robbery. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? Good morning. Um, I, I have a loads of pickups to go to Summit Argo to Sam Solutions. Oh, that's Sam Solutions. Okay. Russ, what's going on with you, boss? Jackson, what's going on? All right. He's working. <laughs> Thank you. I gotta be ready for you. I'm Okay, appreciate you, boss. How you doing this morning? You good? Yeah, yeah. And then it got cold again. <laughs> it got cold again, man. I'm saying we can't catch a little break. It just snowed in there. <laughs> snowed in there, thing on us, baby. Pallet number two. What it do? If you hate to get you in your crew. But not least, pattern number three for the strap these doors up so we can get this cheese. Uh, and just like that, we gone. It's time for us to pull up so we can get in our zone. Let's go. How you doing? I have three pallets for you uh, coming from uh, Glenview. Three pallets? Three pallets. Too much. Too much. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. After we got done dropping that Jordan off, we got uh, uh, another one. We got us another one, baby. Now, this is from the carrier company. Yet again, we're about to go ahead and get these dividends. We're going to drive eight deadhead miles, 95 miles loaded, sorry, 103 miles all together for 200. We're about to pull up and show you who won it. Let's go. And we back at it again with another order. We are here trying to get an order. I don't know what I'm supposed to go what I'm supposed to do. We got a doorbell on this drone. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. 2,000 years later. I'm um, gonna have a load to go to Wabatosa. I need a shipment number. Oh, here we go. I don't know, it didn't tell me. A few moments later. Okay, here it is right here. Let's see. It was right on time. Okay, I'm good to go? You're good to go, bro. Appreciate you, boss. You see the door open? You go to any events, you see the door open? Back then, that level up, level up. Okay, all right, appreciate it. I don't know. I don't know that part. I know it's supposed to be two two pallets. It's oh. not two pallets, it's two cans. Oh, two cans. Oh, I'm not sure. Let me tell you, Mike. Okay. Two drugs. Okay, because it said it was two, it said it was two pieces. That's individual. Oh, okay. So it's two pieces. So is this hazardous? This is hazardous, class three flam. See that you got under a thousand pounds, so you don't need. Oh, it's 741. Okay, yeah, buddy. see, they told me it was 1100 pounds. That's what I was wondering. They told uh, me no, it was yeah. So it's two pieces, mm -hmm. which is on these one. two, right? Okay, so see, it's all brought in on one, but it's actually two pieces. Two drums. Okay, I need me to dale, 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 Yes, sir. I appreciate you, boss. All right, you have a good one, sir. Safe, and just hold on. Wait, 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 wait. 
We got that, but guess what? I'm putting this, I'm putting this uh, bar right here because I'm not playing no games, baby. This stuff is hazardous, flammable, and all that stuff. Well, flammable. It's flammable. I ain't about to play no games. Let's do our thing. I'm putting this one right here. And just like that, we gone. Y'all know my nickname wrong. It's time for us to get it on. Let's go. And just like that, we here now. You old news. Got a couple push a couple holes. How you doing, boss? Good, hey. I'm living the dream. I woke up this morning. Hey, Some people didn't day. make it, so hey, hey. Any day, and you yeah, good day. Exactly. Anything, anytime. I know some people complain, but hey, it could be always be worse. Okay. Absolutely. So do we have to sign in here? Uh, yeah, right here, yeah. You drive a semi? Yeah. How long have you been driving? Oh, up and on for 30 years. Ooh, that's a long time. Long time. That's a long time. Long do you time. like to do it or you just? It's all right. It pays the bills. Some days, some days are good. Oh, you gonna get your good and bad days? I already know. Yes, that's yes. that's what everything in life though. Some things, some days you are gonna have good days and bad days. Even if some, it's something you love, you might gonna have, you still gonna have some bad some, days. Right? Something's yeah. Gonna, yeah. Oh yeah. Days like here, standing in this jailhouse for an hour or so. Uh, you been here for an hour? Um, uh, ten, uh, was it one quarter out there? And see, that's the thing. That's the thing that I don't like about the whole like the truck and stuff is that waiting. I, I'm I'm impatient, man. I don't like some, sitting around waiting. Some some of them are just idiots and they just treat you like shit. So yeah. You smile and say, "How you doing, sir?" Yeah. Hey. And then. And it's like they got control over everything. So sometimes yeah. it's it's like a, a Capone star. Sometimes it gets to their head and they just take it too far. Pause. They're like, yeah, they Absolutely. take it too far. Yeah, they want to just make you wait and they don't care. And because they get paid by the hour, so it really they don't matter. Care. Yeah. Yeah. Other places you go to, we have some boom, boom, gone. Right? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I'm trying to get in and get out. I don't want to be here for three hours. I just want to get in and get out. Right. Time to go home. Yeah. We did six pickups this morning. All around Milwaukee. For real? The nearest thing. It's going to take longer to do this one. Than... That's what I'm saying. Just get me in and out. Ready? Yeah. It seems like they don't have that many employees either. Uh, apparently they're all on lunch. So. Oh, we came at the wrong time. Here's wrong you time. How you doing, boss? Good. What we got? Uh, picking up for Brent's egg, Brampton. Um, you got to pick up for No, it's just Brampton. Uh, Brampton. There's a couple Brampton orders. Are you taking one order? Uh, two skins? I think there's two separate orders. Let me go look. I'll take them all if you got it. Okay. So are Same you place. picking up, dropping off? I'm dropping off. What do you got for us? Uh, just, it's one skid. Okay, give me one second. All right, thank you. So you've been standing right here this whole time? Right here. The first guy acknowledged me. Are you serious? Yeah. The other guy walked here by me three times. Man, that's crazy. I thought they at least said something to you. They said that this whole time you just been standing here? The first guy did. That's did you ring his doorbell? Oh yeah, a couple times. Dang. They out of pocket. That's crazy. You've been here since 1240. Yeah, and it is now 116 and you just been standing here this whole time. That's crazy. Two or, two or three skits somewhere else. So you've been doing this for 30 years. Has it always been like this? The hurry up and wait thing. It's, yeah, it's different. I've done food warehouses, those are the absolute worst. Don't, mm -hmm. ever, don't ever get into that, that's just... It's worse, the worst uh, of the worst? Oh yeah. Yeah. I do a lot of LTL. Right. Uh, the only one we have for Brampton is for tomorrow, and there's no product here yet for it. So we couldn't even get Fuck it. Uh, Bill, who's Bill? Bill, somebody said, come on in here, lunchtime, it'll be ready. Bill's been off for like a week and a half. Oh, shit. He's in another country, he's on a cruise. Serious? Mm -hmm. they you... called. Brampton even called and said, yeah, come here for yeah, lunch. Yeah, we got, we got it tomorrow. It's an order for tomorrow. And uh, I don't even think all the products here, so they couldn't pick it if they needed it. So you can't uh, Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. Sorry about that. All right, thank Good luck, you. boss. You have a good one. Nice to meet you. Are you in the door already? Yeah, I'm right here in this van right here. Oh, perfect. All right, thank you. I don't know I just heard it. That's absolutely critical, man. I'd be so mad. He been, man, I, I look, I don't even want to talk about it. Sir, step back on the photo, y'all know those. Let's go ahead and get into it. 
This is the reason why I hate trucking. I do not like this hurry up and wait thing. As you guys saw in that last load we dropped off, it was absolutely terrible. And I actually feel got bad for that guy, man, because it was critical. He literally was sitting there from 1240 all the way to 116, just sitting there. Nobody ever came up to him and asked him what he's picking up. Is he dropping off? What he doing? They never asked him nothing. They ain't asked him nothing until 116. So that's 36 minutes right there, just sitting there waiting. For them, for them to tell him that the low is not even there, it's not gonna be until tomorrow, that's absolutely unacceptable. And I don't understand how this industry even got like this. I, as you guys saw, I did ask him, like, how long have you been doing it and has the industry always been like that? And he pretty much said, yes, that's pretty much what it is. I don't understand it. I think that everything, everybody need to get this stuff together because it's out of control. Me personally, I do not like wasting my time. I'm not like rushing to get somewhere and then the stuff not ready. So what is he supposed to do all the way until tomorrow? And then not only all the way till tomorrow, what time is it coming tomorrow? So now he gotta reach out to the company and do all this other stuff and do all this and all that. And then this is the thing though, this is another thing I don't like. Another thing I don't like is the dispatchers, y'all be in the office. Y'all ain't out here driving all through the snow and all that. They want y'all to go in snowstorms and do all this, do all that. But they in the office sitting there chilling, sipping coffee, sipping tea. Yeah, we got a load for you. Why are you sitting there doing that? I do not like it. And honestly, if you are not in this industry you would like to be, just know you're going to have to deal with this type of stuff when you get in. I don't like it. Comment below and let me know what you guys think about it. Now, one more question before we go. I want to ask you guys this. How long was the longest time you ever waited at a pickup or drop off? How long have you ever waited and how long will you wait? And I understand that some people are like, I'm not about to be waiting that long. I'm not, it's not the same as gig apps. It's like once you have committed to picking up this load or dropping off this load, they expect you to do that. Or they might not send you no loads anymore. So I don't know. I understand that I don't like sitting and waiting just like anybody else, but that's that's it comes to territory. That's how it goes. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you're not subscribed, make sure you smash the subscribe button. Also, give me a thumbs up. And if you're a part of the crew, guess what you gotta do before you go? Throw them C's up! Throw them C's up yet again. We are here getting these dividends, and I love for you guys to watch us win. I'll see you guys on the next one. We're going, we're going, we're full. You already know it, it's DDK, and I'm on my way.